Hi, friends. I hope for you are in the world, you are happy and healthy. My name is Tammy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for choosing to hang out with me for a little while. I really appreciate your support. And if you like my videos, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content like this or makeup and skincare or just life in general. Anyways, um, so continuing with my Tarot Oracle ABC123, I am going to continue with my Anna K Tarot. This is the back of them. Um, so you can go ahead and reverse them. And I should have had a regular tarot card in here so you can compare side. This is shorter and wider than the typical tarot card. Um, the cardstock has a nice spring to it. Um, it's not super flimsy, but it's not, you know, so stiff you can't use it. All right. So, yay, I even have them in order for you. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the Anna K Tarot. All right. So, now let's take a look at the cards, and then we'll look at the book afterwards. Um they are glossy, especially on the back, so you can kind of see the reflection of my recorder there. Um, the other side, though, isn't so bad. Normally, I'm not big on borders, but I do not mind the borders on this deck, probably because they are black, and it's almost like I'm looking out a window into this other world. Um, and I do appreciate that... For most of the cards, I appreciate you can really see the expressions on their face. So like for this fool, you can see the joy and the I'm off for an adventure. And so with that being said, like I do appreciate for most of them, the expressions. Some of them are a little freaky. <laughs> like they, they just make me very nervous. I don't know why. All right. So the magician. I really like this card and how there's magic in the air swirling around him and he has all of his tools there. The high priestess. I do like the moons. I love how it really ties in the moon with the high priestess. That makes a lot of sense for me. Um, not for me, to me. <laughs> the empress. The emperor. So here with this empress outside, um, it just feels very, it, I can feel the abundance and like it feels very nurturing to me. Whereas here, very, very orderly. Not really cold, but I'm trying to think of the word I'm looking for. Just very orderly, very um, authoritarian. Um, I hope you get what I am throwing down there. The high priest. So instead of the hierophant. Lovers. The chariot. Now, I'm not huge on this chariot just because it's going up into the sky, but you know, I don't mind it. It's just, you know, definitely not my favorite chariot. Justice. The hermit. This one I do like. It's not my favorite hermit, but it does give me a sense of calm, a sense of self reflection regrouping wheel of fortune strength the hangman death hopefully that glare is not Temperance, 
the devil and all the debauchery happening down there. The tower. The star. I like this take on the star. It's very different than the usual um, take on the star. The moon. The sun. I like this one too. Over the baby on the horse. <laughs> Oops. Judgment. The world. I love this world. All right. Ace of Cups. My cup runneth over. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four. All these women like serving and he just looks so dis disinterested in any of it. Five. I do love how like, oh, it's dark and stormy over here and he's focusing on those broken ones. Whereas here there's light and it's that the full cups, the unbroken cups um, are leading into like this lighter time, but he's so focused on those two that the rain is coming in. Six of cups. This one uh, just gives me such a romantic, like high youth. Seven. Eight. Nine. Like you could just see the joy on their faces and the celebration. Ten. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Queen and King. All right, swords next. Ace, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I like how he's escaping out the window. <laughs> with all of his goods. Eight. Now, I love this kind of imagery here for the eight of swords. Instead of just being surrounded by the swords and you're blinded and you're bound, you know, this is not my only deck that has it somewhat portrayed like this. And I do love this idea of looking at the mirror and like, okay, inwards, I might feel like this, but really, I'm not bound. Um, this is definitely an imagery that I, an image that I do like seeing in my cards. So that's nine, and 10. And this one always likes, you know, yeah, you know, I was dead down there and it was over. It's over, but I'm moving on. 
and it's okay. It's okay. I can, I can move through this and it's an ending, but it's also, you know, like a new beginning too. I don't need that anymore. And I can just end it. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Ten, or I mean not ten, Knight, Queen. Or the ten came from. King. I love that he's playing chess. You know, being strategic over here. Ace of Wands. This one always makes me just smile. And here they don't call them wands, they call them rods. Um, two. And I do like the, you know, the, <laughs> the sign post with all the different directions. Which direction are you going to go? Choose a direction. All right, now let's make a plan on how we're getting over there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. That is an interesting take on like the movements because here he's passing up like a parchment with a message. So it goes from him to her to, you know, whoever next and whoever next. So that message is making that movement too, that action. Nine. I might be beat, but I'm still standing. I'm holding my ground. 10. Well, this is definitely a different um, take on the 10. Also, because usually like they're, they're holding it on their back and they're carrying it. Here, he is trying to fit in this little space. And, um, you know, is shying away from it too. He's not like carrying it and taking off with it. He's, he's like, I don't really want this. And he's like shying away, but he's also fitting in that little tiny space that's left for him. That's an interesting take. Page of rods. Knight. Queen. King. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Two. I like that for the balancing and there's this audience and how are you gonna balance it all? Three. Um. This one's kind of a harder one for me because usually when I think of the three of pentacles, I think of like teamwork and, you know, this person's there by themselves putting it in. I think I almost probably would have preferred this if there was even just like a little bit of a head here or something or someone holding the ladder or something. <clears throat> Four. Oh, and this is interesting. I've never really noticed this. You know, they're like holding their arms crossed because they're like cold. And there's this person with all this extra coins and has all this extra on them, keeping them warm. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, and this is nice. I like, you know, literally planting. Those pen pentacles are going into the ground. I'm planting. I'm planting this harvest. I'm honing my craft over here. Eight. Nine. And then ten.
page, night, clean, and king. So there are several cards in this deck that I just, oops, that I, oops, <laughs> they're super slick because they are glossy, that I just adore, and then others that I'm like, eh. So let's shuffle. I don't know if you heard that sound. In one of these, I shuffled and you could not hear it. This, hopefully you hear that. I love that sound. You like the shuffle on that one. All right, let's see. What is our card? The Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Let's see what it says for the Queen of Cups. All right, and I'm gonna put the card right here so we can actually kind of see it. Yeah. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to read this, but I'll spread it out so maybe you will. All right, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a sensitive, artistic, emotional, intuitive woman. She is empathetic and cuddly. A loving connection with the world and her fellow human beings is of great importance to her. She bears conflicts and quarrel only with difficulty. She needs a lot of time for herself, time in which she can nourish her spiritual and artistic sides. The Queen of Cups can be problematic if, na um, if naivety, if naive, blind belief in goodness, escapism, and emotional dependence are added to the above characteristics. For your interpretation, you can see the Queen of Cups as a woman with the above qualities or as the female part of a man's psyche. But I tend to read the queens as the inward side of a person, their philosophy of life, attitude towards life, values, habits, and typical moods, etc. no matter whether, whether the person is female or male. And then it also says, see tip on page 120. So let's see here. What kind of tip does it give us on 120? Oops. I just flew past it. All right. Let's look at Tip, the queen and king of the same suit have similar meanings, so it's perfectly normal and not due to a lack of differentiation on your side that in readings, they can be interpreted in a very similar way. And should you have trouble remembering which queen of which suit has which meaning, simply remind yourself of the different overall topics of the four suits, the four suits address. I do like that it also has um, some notes area. So for each, card. There is a black and white picture of it. Then just a little information there. Sometimes a tip is included. And then in, is it in the back or is it in the front? I think it might be in the front. I know that there are a few different spreads in here. Okay, small selection of spreads. There we go. So there's the essence card, the daily card, um, short and sweet spread, relationship or friendship spread, the birthday or New Year's Eve spread, the spread of success, and then it says systematic card reading. So it has a nice size, little white book. It's not so little. And they are very, very pretty cards. Um, I think I'm gonna have to play with these more before I decide whether or not this will be a deck that I will declutter in the future. Do you have this deck? Are you thinking about getting this deck? I would love to know in the comments below. Um, and if you have this deck, 
Why do you love it so much? All right, please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And if you're interested in videos like this or information regarding um, makeup and skincare and, you know, life in general, I'm not a life coach though. So don't, don't, you know, don't be looking for me for that. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'd appreciate if you subscribed. And if I'm not your cup of tea, thanks for hanging out this long if you made it this far. All right, until next time, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye.